On her travels, Anna Whiteley is always on the lookout for advice from the world's best players and coaches in an effort to improve her game and hopefully yours too. Wow! Today, she's with Simon Holmes, looking for some help with windy weather. We've come down here to Centurion Club just outside of London where I'm delighted to be joined once again by our resident coach, Mr Simon Holmes. Simon, it's always a pleasure to have you here. Well, thank you, Anna. Now, we've brought you down here today because the seasons are changing. The winter is coming, the winds are picking up, which means we have to kind of change our approach to this great game of golf. So we're down here on the 12th fairway. We've got a shot here which quite honestly slightly terrifies me in the best of situations but it's really really windy so we've got 120 yards what would you recommend on a shot like this so i think what happens is you have to understand uh, how you can change your impact position without really trying to change your technique so you've got 120 yards which is your normal eight iron yeah. okay and the temptation especially into the wind is that you hit it a bit harder and what happens is the harder you hit your eight iron, the more spin you're gonna get. And into the wind, that really kills you. So that's the one that floats into the wind, drops way short, and in this case, would end up in the water. So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna put you up to a five iron. Five, that's three club A difference. five iron, and the reason for that is, so five iron, obviously, much less lofty. The ball's gonna come out lower. You're not gonna hit it so hard, okay? So less club head speed, less back spin on the ball, okay? Yeah. Less spin on the ball, so it's gonna go easier shot so three quarter length swing okay yeah. three quarters pace okay and we will easily take that water out okay, okay so eight iron back in the bag wow. so standard yes i know standard you hit that 120 five iron yeah grip down a little bit okay, okay. a little bit of a downhill lie as well side hill lie yeah and it's just a three quarter pace mm -hmm. yep and again get some grass Yes, good. See, that's so you've got really to, interesting. Yeah, you've got to pick a target. So you've got to trust me here, right? Pick a target. So we're going to pitch. So right edge of the of the bunker there, okay? Just left of the pin. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's the shot I'm looking for. See, that's really interesting. And how how do you know how many clubs to judge to go up or to go down in a situation like this? I think the first thing is to understand what happens to the ball. You know, when you try to really thump an eight iron and get the maximum amount of it, okay, into the wind, that's going to really hurt you, okay? Mm. So dropping, we had three clubs, right? Yeah. You could see the ball stayed much lower. You easily took out the water, all right? So I would say it's as much experimenting uh, with your clubs, but don't hesitate. Like one club is not enough. Yeah. Right, two clubs, especially against this wind, is also not enough. So it was never an eight iron for you, no. right? Three quarter five iron, you take the water out of play. You know, if you are out there by yourself, drop a few balls down and experiment to see what distances you get. But you're looking for slower swing speed, that's the most crucial, at least two clubs going down into your bag, so less lofted. Yeah. All right, and there you manage to solve the problem. Yeah, I think a lot of amateurs, especially when they first start the game, they don't even take into consideration things like wind, but it can really damage your scorecard, can't it, if you don't adapt to it? Oh yeah, if you, if you can't read the conditions, you know, if you're just a range player and you don't know how to adapt it uh, out on the golf course, you're not a proper golfer. Okay, good stuff. Simon, once again, a very easy tip to help battle the wind and hopefully knock some shots off your scorecard.